Welcome to another Field of Glory 2 battle. This is part of the Little Wars tourney hosted by Carbon over on the Slytherin forums. In this match against Snooky, indeed, um, I have the Jewish Revolt Army, which I will be fielding for every match in this tournament, against his Khazars. So, Khazar Army, let's take a look. Horse Archers, Lancers, Still more horse archers, even more horse archers. Look, more horse archers. For infantry, it's four lights. Keep in mind, it's a 600 point max. So on a medium sized army, that would be a respectable eight lights. So four is pretty good. A couple of mass archers and irregular foot. So yeah, on the bright side, there's a big mountain here that you won't be able to use. On the downside, I'm not that close to it either. So I'll probably deploy either here or here. Oh, what, are the, what are the zones here? I see. So you'll deploy here, and we'll need to fight it out. Uh, I do have enclosures to work with. These don't offer cover from shooting, but they do offer protection against cavalry charges. Unfortunately, they're a little bit awkwardly situated. This is closest to his approach, but it's a bit isolated, whereas these are... Not the greatest shape, but maybe this is where I want to make my stand anyway. The Zealots are the best unit in my army. Unfortunately, they are lightly protected. So they're great for fighting infantry because they're impact foot against cavalry. That's not the best. So I'll probably not bother fielding any more Zealots than I already have, which is one unit. And otherwise, for non-light infantry, field my irregular foot. Um, with all the cavalry running around, we're going to grab all the lights that we can. And just shoot away. Unfortunately, even all the lights I can grab is nine units. Uh, I'll likely still be outnumbered in missile troops. So eventually I'm going to have to charge. Armored Noble Lancers, that's unfortunate. They can make quick work of my irregulars in the open. Uh, at least we have a hill to take advantage of. And we'll put more units in reserve to maybe charge out when the time comes. And looks like it's one more unit of zealots unless I really want poorly armed rabble, which I really don't. So we might be able to spread onto this hill. If he deploys far enough back, maybe we could try a rush for this ground. Seems unlikely. Alternatively, I could, I suppose, put a bunch of light infantry forward here and see if I can make it. I suppose I might as well. It's not the most likely, I think, but if it does happen, it will be very useful. If that's how far forward my non-lights can be, we might as well do it at least initially and see if we can manage the sprint. And if not, we'll uh, spread everyone back out into these enclosures, maybe into this enclosure. Gonna add two more generals, of course. Uh, this might actually be a situation where I do something I almost never do and have a lights general with some irregular foot attached to the wing as well. Okay, and another infantry command of the zealots. So, here's where we make our stand. What have we got? Enough infantry that I probably shouldn't just run forward. Um, well, let's take a look. What can we see? If we move three tiles, and he moves three tiles, then we move two tiles. Yeah, unfortunately not doable. Okay, so we'll need to redeploy accordingly. If 
he hadn't gone so infantry heavy in the center there, it would have been doable. Sadly, we're going to have to hold back. Next turn. Okay, what else is there to see? Not much yet. I can't see back there. I don't know if there's more. As soon as I could count points like a bastard. Am I going to do that? Yep, I am. Okay, so that's about 500 points of men. So there's another 100 points, so two or three units somewhere in the fog. So with that in mind, we will occupy this enclosure and swing this battle group over to take it. And what, two mass archers and three light foot against five light foot is sort of enough to engage in that fight as long as we stay away from this. Nope. There we go. All right, onward. Next turn. Okay, can we win a shooting match here? Four to four. Don't really like that given that mine are all lights. Five to five. So six, actually. We'll probably, in the long run, lose an extended skirmish match. We shift one more over. Invite him to come down and play. Next turn. Well, let's fall back a little bit don't want to be in range of Masked Archers, at least as long as I can help it. Okay, then what? I think we have to stand here, which is too bad. All right, next turn. Bit of long range archery. It's a close work that worries me. Yeah, that, that worries me. Withdraw. And hmm, we're going to take a battering no matter what. But we can pop out to work on disruptions. Good.
good. We're still going to have a tough time in the shootout. What I might end up needing to do is uh, pushing off this cavalry with my irregulars and swinging my lights around to pressure his main line. I think that's probably what we're going to do, actually. Because I just feel that I need more firepower on this wing. Take a small risk. If he charges, we might evade somewhere bad, but I want to put the pressure on. We can put up with some arrows with our trashy regulars. I'm okay with that. They're probably not too okay with it, but that's quite all right. Next turn. We'll have to counter charge. Oh, no, they bounce. Yep, fast archers are going to be a problem. Okay, so we probably have to charge now. Dangerous, but lock in those Lancers. needs a commander, you need to rally up. Shove them off, they're in the way. Good. So if he charges us in the rear, we'll flank. In the meantime, let's holy block in this unit and charge. Good, go for the break. Maybe next time. Archers. <sighs> so your regular foot are going to move forward. They might get shot at. Not much we can do. Shove them off. Maybe go for a frag. Good. And today this unit. We'll have to push towards these masked archers as well. So we need to charge through here while just not getting overrun here. Hopefully. Next turn. Good. Oh, that's so annoying. That means we won't be able to charge. Ugh. Okay, well, first of all, we lock this unit in, move up. What can we do with missile troops? Not all that much. The charge here, they might, I might catch them, but they might just evade this way, I don't know. 
for certain. I could try to... Well, I think I'd rather save all these missile troops for shooting up these mounted archers. even invite him to charge my lights so that I can charge his infantry next turn. Yeah. It's not bad. That puts us in a pretty strong flanking position. I believe I should get stuck in right away. No, apparently. Apparently I should not. Um... Hmm, why not? Different command. Fair enough. Well, shuffle forward then. Huh. Normally I wouldn't do that. Should not move before doing that kind of thing, but I really want to get into impact against these archers. Hold on for a couple of rounds of melee. Very good. Waste of arrows, but at this point we might not have time to use them anyway. Good. You need to sit for a moment. This unit might need to get an additional irregular foot unit over here. You have to stand and take some arrow fire. Too bad for you. Next turn. Good. Oof. Yeah, it's, it's not the best. Okay. Let's get command on you so you can charge downhill. <laughs> Very nice. Then impact charge. And let's work on fragging this unit and the safety of the enclosures, or at least the distance to evade. Good. Um, hmm. Honestly, just work on auto breaking them in case you don't break next turn. Uh, here, let's see, general up and charge rather than trying to pile on here, because then we can hit these Mast Archers. In the meantime, you're just going to have to grin and bear it. Well, we should have done this first to cause a cohesion check. Oh no! Alright, we're gonna get flanked next turn. Now, do I pin them or do I flank charge? I, think I flank charge. This unit's doomed anyway. Okay, we're gonna lose some units next turn, but. I think we'll still be in a fairly strong position. Let's go for a break, actually. Good. Okay, so we'll lose some irregular foot, but we'll still have lights, and our zealots will be intact, and that's what matters. Next turn. Yeah, it's not going to be the best. Oof. Ouch.
And do we hold it fragged at least? Yes, that's good. Damn. Alright, does that cause any cohesion failure? No. Okay, still up 12, so not terrible. Let's pin this unit in. Good. Let's keep this unit of Lancers. Wow, they're not likely to fall back anytime soon, but just in case, because I do, or horse archers, I do want to keep them in the melee in case I do start to turn it around. Uh, this might be worth it just to get them to peel off, but if I can hold for a couple turns of melee, I could get a flank in. Hmm. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, we might be able to... Oh, never mind. Never mind. Huh. Well, we'll consider what to do there momentarily. Hold firm, hold firm, general up on here. Good. Yeah, that wasn't going to go well, but two units breaking through isn't a huge deal. Let's block them from charging either of these units. Then what? Work on getting a disruption there. Okay. Um... These lights can start moving to either hit these units as they come back, or hit this unit. Alright, still going pretty well. Up 20. Next turn. Lancers are definitely giving us trouble. But it doesn't look like it's going to matter. Let's move into a flanking position so that fleeing troops don't block our charge. Good. Do they frag? No. It's okay. Good. We can just work on auto breaking this unit and blocking its fallback. Zone it in. There we go. Get ready to occupy enclosures to shoot these guys up as they return. Not that it's going to come to that, because it looks like we've won the match anyway. But it's always best to assume that rallies are going to happen, just so you're prepared if something freakish does occur. Okay, and I believe we have reached the end.
interesting. Uh, well, that's a minor bug, I suppose. But anyway, that was actually a victory. Uh, thanks to the enclosures and our giant swarm of skirmishers. Could have had a tough time with a cavalry heavy army like that in the open, but as it was, it was just a matter of waiting and waiting till the right moment to charge out and accepting that these lancers were going to tear some of our units to pieces, but kind of working our way around that. So, a good game, Snooky. Until next time.